Hey, breezers. How are you guys? So, Foodie Beauty is quitting YouTube again. Um, and since her comments are off after we read this community post, we're going to go to Twitter to see what the people of Twitter have to say about this. So, it's from two hours ago. And it reads, hey, I need a mental health break. The internet is rough and sometimes it doesn't get to me. And sometimes, honestly, it's all just too much and I need some time away. I think a break away from social media for a period of time could be healing and allow a period of reflection and self-improvement away from a toxic environment where people are not picking apart my every move. I will spend quality time enjoying my new marriage and living life here. I will stop fighting with others on this platform and make my moves in secret as needed. I keep failing at this, but I'm hoping by repeating these same mistakes that I will finally learn what it is best for me. Thank you for allowing me this time to work on myself. Foodie Beauty with 136 likes. Um, I think time away would be good for you, but I don't think you will do it. And I'm confused at why every time you set a schedule for yourself, I feel like this is deja vu. Every time you set a schedule and say you're going to do something, then suddenly it's met with, I can't. You say people pick apart your every move, but you do the same to other people. Granted, you have a lot of people covering you and it must get overwhelming, but foodie, you play a part in this too. You search for your name and if you don't like one thing that somebody has to say, even if it's good advice or a good point, you'll make community posts after community post and go after them. So this has been unhealthy. And like I said, I, I think a break would be a way, but why every time do you take a break as soon as you post a new schedule. Like, I don't even think, we didn't even make it to a day of trying new content. What do you guys think? Okay, we're gonna talk about this in the comment section, but let's go see what the people of Twitter have to say about this. I'll see you over there. Okay, so Barbecue Chicken posted the community post and put any bets? Let's see what everyone has to say about this. So Bubble Butt Booty <laughs> said, I think Sala wants her to stop with all the drama and following Neg's around the internet. Barbecue Chicken replied, between her licking Neg's butt and Yo Mama wanting to get in Dee Dee's bed, crying face emoji. Bubble Butt said this community is gross. Here we go. All right, fighting for justice, YouTube said, I don't see her being in Neg's chat, so she is possibly distancing herself from him. I wonder if she got in trouble because anytime she's put in a corner, she cries mental health. Barbecue Chicken replied, she was just promoting his page yesterday. Negs got yeeted, but he came back the other day. She hasn't stopped, lol. Uh, Fighting for Justice replied, oh, trust me, the real distancing will be if she is in the rumble chat or not. She does all her vulgar slash trash talking there. I just find it funny in his life today she wasn't found, or at least from what I saw. And Barbecue Chicken replied, oh, okay, my bad, lol. Salty Peach said, time, huh? Like traveling time? Barbecue Chicken said, hmm, you make a good point. Uh, let's see. The Goth said this, Matt. Tybibi post came up right below yours on my feed. Sounds about right. Matt put five minutes. <laughs> After any bets, Matt replied, five minutes. Um, oh, didn't even reply. That was just under it. That's funny. Okay, that's funny. Let's see. Barbecue chicken's laughing. The goth said, when I first saw that, it made me think I had clicked on your post and he was a hater. <laughs> that would have been so awesome. Uh, Perfectly Imperfect said, she really does need to do this, but Sala needs his money to make that. Yeah, his money and cash. Oh, it's cash cow to make that money. After all, that's the deal, right? That's the deal. LG said, I think she's feeling homesick because the realization has dawned that she won't be home for Christmas. As with any emotion, this makes her even more nasty than usual. And then Salad has stepped in and told her to stop. Just my opinion. Ravenstar said, Christmas Day, she'll be back, claiming she just wanted to tell all her Beezers Merry Christmas, and then she'll bitch about FFG. <laughs> Foodie Beauty Light said, we shall see her tonight when it's 3 a.m. in Kuwait time, and she is sad because she isn't home for the holidays and eating food. Sarah said, didn't she just make a schedule like six hours ago? Our girl has nothing. Our girl is nothing if not consistent. She just made that schedule. It didn't even last a day. 
Um, cliche said, she's far too gone in her personality disorder for this to be anything she can act upon. Annie Pooh said, 12 hours max. Liv said, okay, see you tonight, Chantal. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Every time she fake quits, she's back. She's back. Um, MJK said, so in other words, Sala refused to play games with her on Twitch today. No uploads on the couple's channel in almost a week. The honeymoon is over. What do you guys think? Maybe the honeymoon is over. I think it's been over. Um, Sarah Abby said, heck, she didn't even fulfill day one of her new schedule. And she's now adding even more that she will never do. She is so predictable. She will go on her rants for days, wears herself out, then has mental health issue. But it never happens when she's doing things we know she enjoys. Raman said, imagine spending time online with your haters on Christmas Eve and guaranteed to spend it online on Christmas Day because she can't help herself. True. Chantel's French lover. Oh, my gosh. That profile picture said, but what about the schedule? OK, I got to get that profile picture off my. OK, thank you. Claire said, see you tonight then, Chance. <laughs> um. Zucchini Frida said, I'm hoping that repeatedly making the same mistakes that I'm aware are mistakes as I'm making them will someday make me realize that I'm making a mistake. She annoys me so bad, like WTF, just stop, they said. <laughs> um, Doll on Earth said, she just posted a schedule, I'm dead. Simply I said, like a broken record, blah, 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 and never takes her own advice. True. Sailor Moon Wannabe said, didn't she just create a new schedule? She was totally going to follow yesterday. And she did. Um, Helene said, yes, take a break and come back with better content. Amanda said, 3 a.m. her time. I bet you we're going to see her again. I bet you, you guys. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Wendy said, was going to write a response and then realized everyone reading this tweet thinks the same. Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. Everyone else just enjoy yours as well. Remember starting Monday, the days start getting longer. Uh-oh. Um, too tired for this. Said Bull, I give her a day, two days max, unless Sala is enforcing this due to her recent behavior. Iron Steph said, it's a whim, just like when she's going to fast for a week, but stops it because she gets hungry and orders fast food two hours later. True. Um, you're on your own, kids said Monday at the latest, but tomorrow is my guess. That's my guess, too. Um, Oscar said, I heard FFG is most likely live streaming tomorrow, so tomorrow she'll go back to raging. Sal isn't satisfying her enough. The tragic comedy said anything to avoid following a schedule. True. Sweet Bonnie Girl said 12 hours tops. Yeah, I feel like we're going to see or hear from her by tomorrow. Tomorrow, the latest. Paula said two days. MW said, I will give it 12 hours. Melba Toast said, I bet she'll be live tonight. Saturday Baker said, 24 hours tops. Um, Lady Raiden said, I bet she already failed at this. She is probably using troll accounts to torment people. Oh, you know it. You know it. She has so many troll accounts. Disastrous OG said, tomorrow. Jeanette, or Janet said, live coming at some point today. Yeah, I feel like tomorrow will be the latest. We'll hear from her. All right, you guys, I'm going to look on Twitter and see if I could see any more um, comments or opinions on her latest community post. Um, uh, JJ said, late, Chantal. No one cares. <laughs> Golden Goddess said, I give it a week, tops. Grady Jordan said, two days, tops. Um, all right, you guys, I'm going to snoop around some more. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, so I saw this when I searched Foodie Beauty's name. Fluff said, hashtag foodie beauty, you taking a break from the internet is laughable. No doubt you are still searching your name hourly. Is this schedule not happening anymore? LOL, this is why your channel has gone to crap. You never follow through with anything. Poor you, hashtag stay mad. And let's just take a look at this schedule so we can remember it. Mondays, member stream. Tuesdays, tasty Tuesday food vlog. Wednesdays, member stream. Thursdays, recorded video. Fridays, open chat. Saturdays, Twitch. Sundays, member stream. All right, and I did see, let's see, a comment from Hidden Truths. Hold on, I'm going to scroll up a bit. Oop, I had to pass that. It was cussing. So 
Hidden Truth said from two hours ago, hashtag foodie beauty. She's going to stop fighting pe- with people on YouTube. So she's not going to the PO to file another false report on Nader or report FFG and strike her. That means will those who support her like Neg stop talking to her because she didn't follow through? Also, new marriage. All right, you guys, let's talk about this in the comment section. I'll see you there. Bye. Wait, have a beautiful Christmas Eve and happy holidays and a Merry Christmas if you celebrate, you guys. Just make a mem- amazing memories and um, just have the best holidays ever. Bye, you guys.